It is in the Houston area. Not only has a woman tested positive for it, but wastewater tests have also confirmed it. And tonight we are doing a deeper dive on the latter. Health reporter Haley Hernandez joining us here in studio with a closer look at how that testing is done. Haley. Yeah, guys, so throughout the pandemic, the health department has been testing the city's wastewater for the virus, including for variants, and therefore recently started testing for Omicron. I was with them today as they tested near Edison Middle School and Gallegos Elementary. We're out here, rain, sleet, or snow. Houston Health Department environmental investigator Kendra Davis started collecting samples before the crack of dawn. Houston Health Authority Dr. David Purse tells me this is crucial to monitoring what coronavirus strains are in the community. They saw a lot of alpha in here and now it's all delta. Will Omicron take over? No way to know that yet. But last night, Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo announced the first identified Omicron patient is a woman in her 40s with no recent travel history. Although there's no other known patients, the city has discovered the variant at eight of the 39 wastewater treatments. Treatment plants. Now that we know the Omicron variant is in Houston, the city of Houston is still working to determine if the Omicron variant is at schools, nursing homes, and shelters by testing the wastewater. Very helpful in trying to find and pinpoint uh, locations of where COVID is rising. Whether there be an increasing values of, of virus or decreasing values, that hospitalizations seem to follow that about two weeks later. And so it gave us a good idea as to which direction things were about to go. With that knowledge, Dr. Per said they can add extra resources like vaccines in those spots and give the hospitals time to prepare for a potential increase in patients. Now, Dr. Purse says if you are not vaccinated or in need of a booster, do it now. As always, vaccines are free and do not require an ID or insurance. So, Haley, yesterday we reported the hospitalizations were down uh, after that fourth right. surge. Right. Are we expecting Omicron to change that? So that's still to be determined. They're still looking to determine if this becomes a dominant strain and it's still not known if it will become a milder strain or lead to as many hospitalizations as Delta did. The good news is at least this time hospitalizations Hospitals are kind of starting from a better spot as far as fewer COVID infections. The bad news is Dr. Purr said the staff is still fatigued from working through the pandemic and the hospitals are still busy with patients. In December, this time of year, it's really typical that hospitals are busy anyway. Yeah. All right, Haley, thank you. Thanks, guys.